In this video, you'll learn about an enhancement to Apex Row Search that gives your end users a more natural and intuitive searching experience throughout your application. Searching is one of the most frequent tasks your end users do, and their constant daily web searches train them to find things by typing in multiple words relevant to what they want to find. For example, if a user saw an animated series they liked on Netflix and remember it had Maya in the name, to find who directed the film, they might type Netflix director Maya into their browser search bar and quickly discover the director was Jorge Gutierrez. In this Apex application showing the speakers at an industry conference, a user can use faceted search to click Netflix, director, and Maya in the three and quickly find who the director was. But if they type Netflix director Maya into the search bar, they don't find any matches. Let's see how easy it is now to enhance the user's searching experience by clicking Edit Application Definition. In the Properties section, scroll down to Tokenize Row Search and turn that on. This enables a more intuitive, web-style, multi-word row search across your whole Apex application and is the default for new applications created. This property enabled, just hitting Enter shows that our search produces the desired results now. The Enhanced Multi-Word Row Search feature works not only in faceted search, but also in smart filters, as well as in interactive reports. Let's go back to the gallery page with its smart filter and cards regions and try a few more multi-word searches. I'd like to find which speakers at the conference were the founders of a studio. To further narrow the results, I can type additional search terms to see which studio founders we're also computer graphics pioneers. And we quickly locate Pixar co-founder Alvi Ray Smith. To show how we can combine smart filter facets with multi-word row search, let's try the same search again, first selecting Pixar from the company facet, and then typing a multi-word search of founder pioneer. Notice how the same results are produced whether we search with founder pioneer or pioneer founder. So no matter how your users think to search for something, they're going to find it. Let's try another search to find which speakers are art directors. We see the default search found directors with art in their name, animation directors from a school of visual arts, and other results that match those terms individually across any of the columns of data in the rows being searched. We can make the search more specific by surrounding art director with double quotes. This finds only the speakers with the two words art and director right next to each other. For a final example, let's try to find any speakers related to the Love, Death, and Robots episode named Ice. This finds speakers whose last name is Price, as well as those whose job title has the word officer, so we need a better search. Let's do a search that combines the words love, death, and the exact expression Ice episode but with the word ice quoted. To do this, we use double double quotes around the word ice. Let's open this page in the builder and remind ourselves which columns are involved in the row search and how that's configured. The smart filters search facet defaults to a search type of row search and its database columns are a comma separated list of all the columns whose data will be included in the row search. Your end users are going to love the new searching power this feature enables and as you've seen, you can turn it on with a single click. 